In this video, I'm going to show you how to route MIDI from Toontrack's Easy Drummer 3 into Get Good Drums One Kit Wonder Aggressive Rock within Reaper. Hi, I'm Dave from Sonic Asylum. If you like the songwriting features and MIDI grooves within Toontrack's Easy Drummer 3, this video walks you through exactly what you need to do to route the MIDI from Easy Drummer 3 into another drum software. This video will concentrate specifically on routing Easy Drummer 3 into Get Good Drums One Kit Wonder Aggressive Rock Library. First, let's see this setup in action. Here you can see the individual kit pieces within Easy Drummer 3, triggering the kit pieces within Get Good Drums. And here you can see the MIDI grooves, also triggering the kit within Get Good Drums. In the description below, you will find a link with a free template to get you started. However, before you can use it, there's an included text file you need to install in order for the Easy Drummer 3 MIDI to correctly trigger within Get Good Drums. Let's get started. Copy the included text file to the following directory. The directory path is shown here on the screen, and there's also a README text me file included, showing the same path that you need to install it to. Double click on the included Reaper project file, which will launch Reaper. Go to track 3, called MIDI to GGD, and open the MIDI map to key V2 plugin. Click on the mapping file drop down, and select the text file we previously installed in step 1. This MIDI routing is made possible by utilising Easy Drummer 3's MIDI out feature in the general settings. Alongside the MIDI mapping, which ensures GGD is triggered correctly. You can also use this setup to re-record the MIDI from Easy Drummer 3 into a MIDI track dedicated to GGD as so. Drag or copy your MIDI from Easy Drummer 3 to track 1, MIDI to Easy D. Arm record on track 3, MIDI to GGD, click record in Reaper and let the track play through. The resulting track has been transposed in the correct mapping, which you can then move over to track 4 to trigger GGD. As you can see this is very useful in being able to write songs much quicker in GGD using the MIDI from Easy Drummer 3 and not have to worry about transposing the MIDI, which can be quite time consuming. I hope you find this useful, I plan on doing more videos for other drum libraries using this method, as well as other doors. Please consider giving a like, and subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.